Hi, so far we have seen how to shortlist the importing country for your product. Once you are sure which country to attempt for your exports, we have to do steep analysis to understand about the import country. So the steep analysis means social, technological, economical, environmental and political factors that are in, in your importing countries. This is very much important like how we did the steep analysis for the products. Let me take you to the sample steep analysis. Here I have done the steep analysis for UAE. Political factor. UAE has seven emirates with individual government uh, organizations. So the opportunity is once we attend UAE we can access to different markets. But we should be aware of uh, government policies on import in every Emirates. Economically, it is a wealthy country. So, uh, when you go for ECGC coverage, uh, the pay payment security will be there and you will get uh, incentives. At the same time, the level of competition is high. From the previous session, we have seen that 23 percentage of UAE's import are uh, dependent from uh, uh, India's exports. So, the level of competition is ho quite high. Social cultural, it is uh, as we know, it is dominantly a Muslim country. So, people, whatever you sell or you uh, export to UAE, it is uh, highly uh, recognized with their beliefs and their activities. So, we should be very much careful about how our product is going to be used in that particular country and uh, which are the opportunities for you to export technological uh, nowadays we can get every information at, at the tip of our finger so it is a technologically advanced country so when you before you go uh, you want to export to uae or any particular country you have to know like what are the uh, technological advancement that is happening with in respect to your product in the particular country if we have not prepared very well this might not uh, lead to a consistent growth. Environmentally, U UA is a hard dry climate, so nothing grows there. So, it is a, a good opportunity for anyone, th they have agricultural product. So, we have to consider all these factors and see how this will help you to uh, succeed in your importing country. If you are particularly involved in agricultural product, Gain report gives you a good insight about the country. So, if I want to export my product to Israel, I am going to give gain report Israel. So, this is prepared by the US government. It gives you a very good uh, information for us to understand how things works in a particular country. So, we can put like gain report on Israel imports. So, when we see through, see through all these, we can understand how things work in this particular country. This will help you when you are speaking to your buyer, the, it will help you to gain the trust from the buyer. This is a sample gain report for Israel. So, we can see there is a export certificate that is required if we are exporting certain product to Israel. It gives if it is all products, certificate of origin is important, export certificate is important, it should be uh, SPS is very much important when it is human consumption certificate. So, where can we get it from health certificate, where ministry of health. So, these are very important if you are uh, not sure of what are the documents or certificates required when you are exporting certain product when it is an agricultural product uh, gain report gives you a good information on it and this stays much updated this report uh, was done in 2017 and it is in the in the december month so this gives you a very good understanding so go take time to read these reports so that you will be able to understand how your product can uh, influence or how you can grow exporting your product to a particular country. 
Next important website is the market access map. This is also from International Trade Center. The most important tab here is the market analysis. We were talking about the uh, technical uh, trade barrier, technical uh, barriers to trade. That is TBT measures while uh, thinking about a importing country. So this will help you to see what are the uh, documents needed and what are the measures have to be taken by an exporter while exporting a product to a particular country. So click on non-tariff measures links. Here choose the country. Say for example, I want to know about Canada. Click proceed. So in this, it gives uh, four tabs here, import regulations, export regulations, trade support institutions, international websites. So if you are planning to import or export uh, from or to a country, this website helps you uh, to understand about your import countries, rules and regulations. So here the documents that uh, we have list of documents here, if you click on the uh, here it it will be either in English or French or if uh, for example if it is Israel then the document will be in Hebrews so you can click on uh, that document whichever lang language you want to access it in so that will open up and you can see what are the things most of the uh, um, documents will be in European Commission and uh, website so you can either use it or you can use it from the uh, access map. Another website is the sustainability map website. This is also from International Trade Center. This talks about so many certifications that, that, can, that is required for a sustainable growth of your business. If you are uh, planning to export to any countries, nowadays there is a concept called traceability. The importers or the consumers, they want to know uh, where your product is produced, from where you have procured it, how you have done the packaging and everything. So for that, they are much particular about the standards you are using uh, for your products. Here it shows that there are 241 standards. So when you are particular about your product, you can choose the product or the sector here. Say if it is agricultural product. I am choosing agriculture product. It has changed to 132 standards from India. You can choose India here. Now you can see there are 19 standards. So if it is food products, uh, BRC global standard for food safety and issue. This standard is uh, serves as a good sustainability uh, promotion of your pro product. So please include uh, these sustainability or the certifications and the governing uh, certificate certificating bodies in your business plan because this will impact on your business growth. So once you have done this steep analysis, gain report and the import regulations, and you feel comfortable about dealing with the country, keep that country as your top priority for exporting because this will open up so many opportunities and you will be able to network in that direction which will help you to focus and stay strong in your business. So now you have the product, you know which country to export to your product and you know what are the regulations and the conditions that prevailing in your importing country. Next one is the uh, competitor analysis. This is very important because unless and otherwise you know how your competitors are performing, you will not know what are the measures to take or protect your business and how you can grow further. This will be covered in the next session. Thank you.